off i'm gonna start taking this pool heater apart the one i got a couple days ago from kevin the pool guy so let's start taking it apart see all that copper in there Ooh, nice Got that much wire in it. I got this little copper bearing motor. And all the brass and everything else is attached to that big piece of copper. So I just gotta take this off. The rest in here is just this. I don't know what they call it. They make it not catch on fire and just like tin. So I'll put this in the scrap trailer and take all the brass and show you all this copper. And I don't know what was flying overhead, but must have been a whole bunch of geese or something, because all this all this white stuff, streaks of white stuff, all the way to here, all down here. That's all poop. So I don't know what was flying, but at least they didn't poop on my truck. Why is there so much poop? I want some more dandelions. <laughs> Go away, seedlings. And this whole thing is copper. And it's heavy. I have a crane scale. Let's see how heavy it is exactly. It's at pounds. There you go. I'll clip it to this. Oh, it's greasy right there. Okay, don't touch that. What do you got? See that? 21, 22 pounds. 22 pounds and 98% of that is all copper. The only thing that's not copper is, which I believe is stainless steel. It's at the top and at the bottom of this. I don't think it's aluminum. It could be, but I believe it's stainless steel. I think it's 280, 290 a pound right now, 293. So say 50 to $60 just for this copper. So I'll put this in my pile. saving these but let's take everything off these and we could use my new tool link in the description if you want to help support the channel i'm selling these tools that i personally made if you look at it right here it's a tool handle that's flat on one side and it has a magnet attached so it won't roll and it has a file instead of using a huge file you use this so what is that right there? I don't know. Look at it. Brass. That's brass. That's brass. That's brass. There's brass there, brass there. And that's copper. Copper, brass, brass, brass. Let's take all this off. All 
All right, when you're done, you have 90% brass. We got a little bit of copper in brass here, a little bit of copper and brass here. So pretty, pretty awesome on that. And then this is just plastic. I remember one of them was cast iron, but plastic. You want to see my collection? Here it is. I got one, two, three, four, five of them. I would have had six, but I threw one away because I didn't know it was a copper inside. So make sure you research your stuff before you scrap stuff. Because first time I scrapped the pool heater, I just scrapped it because I thought it was just cast iron inside. But 22 pounds of copper is inside. 22 pounds! I didn't think it was that much, but... Awesome. All right, got that scrap taken care of, and I didn't sell anything in two days. So, you know what that means. I gotta post stuff on eBay. I picked out 10 DVDs, random ones from my pile. I'm gonna post 10 DVDs, and maybe a couple things from my death pile of stuff that's just been hoarding. I know my vlogs aren't really like interesting, interesting, but it looked like it's going to rain today. I was going to go do something fun at a state park or something, but the rain and it's supposed to rain tomorrow and then it's yard sailing. And then my, me and my dad are going to start working on that uh, room. So kind of fun, but I don't know. I don't know what you guys like, like comment below what you'd want me to film. And I'll try to film more. I know everybody likes scrapping videos, but you know, gas is too high to be driving around looking for scrap. All right, here's a 10 I listed so far. This one, Sylvester Stallone, Cobra. This one has OJ Simpson in it. Uh, this one has Bruce Willis in it. And this one, Lady Hawk, I sold uh, last week. And I have a double of this. I didn't know I had doubles of stuff, but I wish I had doubles of the expensive ones. But you think Sylvester Stallone and stuff, they'd go for expensive, and even OJ Simpson, that's like a $5 one, that's a $6 one. So this went really quick. So I'm gonna post 10 more and then I'll get some of my death pile. You got the shelf in you see me put it in a couple days ago. I'm starting to put the DVDs in it. I got a dehumidifier in here to keep the moisture out of the air because it's been raining a lot and my garage is getting like, you know, musty. And I don't want the eBay room to get musty, so I got the dehumidifier in here. And let's post 10 more. All right, I went through the pile a little. This big tote. There's tons in there, but it's getting down. I didn't even know there was a Blair Witch Project 2, or Blair Witch 2. DVD and CD. I don't know there's a 2. We have GoldenEye. 007, come on, Nintendo 64, a sealed one, this gotta be worth something. Got Jerry Springer Ringmaster, Mortal Kombat, Robocop 3. We got Wishmasters 1 and 2, looks like a horror movie. Invasion of the Body Snatchers. Looks like someone put a coffee on there. I gotta clean that. I just got a couple. I just these are all just random. Computer animation marvels. I don't know, that could be worth something. The Bat Whispers. A hunchback of Notre Dame. Legal Eagles. Hollywood Studios trailer sampler. A bunch of trailers. Space Jam. JFK. Batman, Goodfellows, Rocky, Wizard of Oz, Mortal Kombat, The Mask. I don't know what this would be worth. Let's look, let's look this one up right now. Home search. There's not even a scanner thing. I have to pipe this in? Come on. Won't this even pop up? There's one. New other. So it was open. It sold for six bucks. Volume one, five bucks. You think that would sell? Cool, like a collector? Like, come on. 
Let's get these posted and see what profit we can make. All right, just listed one, two, three, four, five, six. 27, 28, 29, 30 DVDs. And I'm gonna list some books. I like posting books with no barcodes. Cause a lot of people that are resellers won't type in what the book is to look it up to see what it's sold for. This book right here is called Mountain Troops, Winston Pote, P-O-T-E, Pote? I don't know. Camp Hale, Colorado. It's just a book of, it looks like, it looks like a bunch of skiers and like military stuff. They're like dressed in like military clothes. Last one sold for $45. I don't know why $15.60 shipping. So $45, $55. So I'll list this for like $59.95 free shipping. Here's a cool item. A car racing program from 1971. And it's signed by one of the drivers. I got this at a uh, estate sale. I bought like a whole bunch of like car magazines and this was in it. Anything car related, I usually buy it. I don't even look up the prices because I love cars and if I can't sell it, I'll keep it. But this book sells for like $14.95. Another thing I like posting is tools and tool books. This is a vintage hand planing book. Uh, it's in pretty good shape. I got it for a dollar or a quarter or something at a, at a school sale. It was a quarter or something like that. But uh, tool books usually sell pretty good. Uh, this one's posted for $14.95. Another thing that sells good, depending on the artist, is cassette tapes. Some sell really, really expensive. Some are decent. I have six Dolly Parton ones. I paid a quarter each at a yard sale, so I got $1.50 into this. I'm listing this for $14.95 plus shipping. Posting these two Journey cassette tapes for $9.95 plus shipping. And the thing to look for with cassette tapes, I could have listed all these journey, but some cassette tapes, you gotta look, see how like the reels, you know how cassette tape works. Maybe some of you do, maybe some of you don't even know what a cassette tape is. But there's like reels in here and it turns, and this is what the, cassette player reads to play the songs all right here i don't know if you could see it in camera it's all mildewy it has like mold on it so i don't want to sell these every one of them i probably could have sold these for at least six bucks each but they're all moldy you kind of see it I just want to sell them like this. So only sell them the good ones, but oh well. So I listed those DVDs, the books, the cassette tapes for a total of $524.30 minus eBay fees. I don't have shipping fees because I always include shipping. And I don't know what I paid for the DVDs because I bought 2,000 of them. So like a quarter a piece. So I don't know. I'm going to figure that out at the end when I sell everything. But for a total of $457.38 profit. So I was out here from like seven for like two hours, two and a half hours. So not bad. I, I post pretty quick and I posted like 30 some things. So not a bad day. Uh, not the greatest vlog, uh, but I film what I do. You know, I have a full-time job. I work till late, plus I run and lift after work. So I'm getting home late and, you know, it's not the greatest weather outside now. It's like drizzling. So, you know, some are good vlogs, some are, eh. I'm doing 30 days of vlogs, so I gotta, I gotta film. Thanks for watching, guys. Go out and explore more.